fine motor activities so what are fine motor activities why are they so important during the early childhood education of your child and how engaging your child with fine motor activities helps them during their writing phase so we'll explore everything related to fine motor activities in this video so stay tuned with me till the end Hello everyone this is Tanushree and welcome back to my channel this channel is about easy learning kids activities and how you can teach your child different concepts in a very simple way subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed till now and click on the bell icon below to get notification about my channel so let's get our video started so what do you mean by fine motor skills fine motor skills are those skills where there is a coordination of small muscles that your hand eye and your brain work together to perform a particular task now this task could be any task related to your day to day life related to writing related to you know small small things that you do so these skills need to be trained to your child during the early years so that you know things become easy as they grow up so through fine motor activities our objectives are two fold first is we have to develop the pincer grip of our child so what do you mean by pincer grip pincer grip is the grip that is required during the writing phase okay so which focuses on index finger middle finger and your thumb these all together make your child's writing smoother easier okay so this is called the pincer grip and we are going to work on all the pincer grip now second objective of doing fine motor is to develop focus and concentration of your child when focus and concentration is developed your child can perform any activity and their sitting ability increases during their school when their school starts and when they have various like you can say homework or activities or anything they can at least sit with you and perform them and that is why doing concentration related activities are very very important here i am going to share with you all various fine motor activities and i'll tell you all for which age you can alter those activities accordingly okay there is no chronological order in which you can follow these activities it's just that i have to show one by one so i'm just showing first second third fourth and likewise it's not like this activity is much more important than the other activity all activities are equally important so let's start with the activities so the first one is to take this bottle now this bottle could be oregano bottle or chili flakes bottle that you get every i'm sure everyone has this kind of bottle at home what you have to do is just empty the bottle give it to your child and give toothpick okay and ask them to put it in a hole okay so we hear what is happening again the pincer grip they are working on and their concentration is improving so much because they are only focusing on the holes to put they are not focusing anywhere else okay next activity is putting rubber bands so you uh, so i have just taken rubber bands that is available at my home you can take whatever is available at your home for any activity you don't need to you know spend so much with just simple things available at home how you can practice okay so first step is for the beginner uh for the beginner i'm talking about 1.5 years maybe uh you can take big rubber bands you can ask your child to stretch it stretch like this and put it okay stretch like this and put it so this is the first step okay now once the child has performed this you think that okay he is able to do this then you can give a uh, rubber bands like this which is smaller than these rubber bands okay and has and needs to be stretched little more okay so you can do this and then when you think that your child has already you know done this and is perfect in this then you can take little bit bigger bottle this was this was only this much i have taken little big one and small rubber bands okay so these are the small rubber bands this require more stretching with your uh, with the fingers and child has to put like this okay so because this moves a lot what i've done is i've put rice inside this to make it to make it much heavier so that it doesn't move when a child is doing it doesn't fall or does like that okay so child can take these rubber bands and you know do like this so what's happening over here the strength in the fingers are increasing it is very important to you know uh, build the strength in the fingers because uh, because uh, because you must have noticed that some kids write very light with their with their pencil okay so this is also a concern we don't want a child to write very light because there is no strength in their fingers so to develop strength you need to do such exercises 
so that when they start writing they put pressure on the pencil and you know write so clearly and neatly and you know uh, it doesn't look light it looks darker okay so these were related to rubber bands so next activity what you can do is once your child knows uh, about colors they know how to differentiate between colors or during the phase when you are teaching colors you can use the, you can do this activity so you can just remove the caps of all the sketch pens and give it to your child that you know put put it together put it properly so first of all your child needs to match colors over here matching is happening over here when your child is putting this sound has to come right they some kids just put like this and you know it's not because they are not using their strength they don't have strength in their fingers to so develop the strength child has to put pressure by while putting this pressure their strength increases so this is how they learn colors over here they are pressure and strength in the hands are increasing so this is so this is how you can do simple things that are available at home so the next activity is a uh, lacing activity okay so over here you can buy uh, this shoe lace that is available at cobbler okay uh, you can buy the bigger one the thicker one and the thinner one any one like this is more suitable for kids who are at the early stage of learning uh, this activity which is around 2 years maybe 2.5 okay depends upon child to child when they are starting and these beads you can get easily at any stationery shop now every stationery shop has these kind of beads i'll just put the link of one of the bead uh, available on amazon so you can check it out so what you have to do is you have to ask your child to hold over here where this pincer grip fingers are getting involved over here also the same grip is getting involved so what you can tell your child is to put this like this and once you are done putting it inside change your hands hold beads with this hand and hold lace with this hand change your hand okay pull your lace till the end where the knot is okay likewise your child can perform this activity now uh, understand that this activity is actually very difficult for a 2 year old or maybe 1.5 if you are practicing if you have started already for 1.5 so this activity is actually very you know uh, difficult and it will take time for your child to adapt to this activity you need to keep patience with that you just don't need to have to give up easily okay just keep on practicing uh, there may be a possibility that your, that your child is only putting two beads on first day and just going not interested at all because this activity requires Requires lot of attention. We we do sewing thread and needle, so it requires a lot of attention. Likewise, for child putting in this beads hole is very difficult task. So you need to keep in mind, be patient while doing this activity. Okay, so yes, this was one of the activity where your focus and attention and fine motor both are worked on. So the next activity is using wooden peg pins. Okay, so you need to understand that during the early years, that is one point five to two years. Okay. you need to give this bigger wooden peg pin uh, and ask your child to just put it like this okay so through this uh, uh, their finger strength is increasing over here and their concentration and their concentration level is got also getting improved over here because they're looking at one place to put this pin okay so here and later at around uh, 2.5 to 5 years you can do with this smaller wooden peg pins okay again this you can get at any stationery shop or amazon so this is one of the important fine motor i usually do this in my class and till now i perform it with sarvam he is 4 years old but i still do this activity because uh, this has really helped sarvam a lot so yes you can try this out i'm sure this is going to help a lot to your child so in the next activity i have taken kidney beans and white peas like this okay kidney beans and white peas so you can take any two things that you have at home and just ask your child to sort them two things are happening over here first pincer grip we are working on pincer grip the more the more child is on this grip using this grip okay the more their the fine motor is getting developed and second child is doing sorting which helps in their concentration level over here so in this next activity uh, this game is called connect four okay so there is no logic of connecting four right now that we are focusing on we are focusing on giving uh, coins to your child and putting in this particular okay in this particular boxes so what is happening child is you know concentrating you know child will do like this and put like this so a lot of concentration is getting developed over here again pincer grip is getting developed so this is how you can perform this activity 
But for an older child, what you can do is you can give a particular pattern. Okay, like for I've given, for example, I've given red, red, next yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. So you can ask your child to follow this particular pattern and finish the activity. Like for example, child will not put all the red over here first. He has to go line wise. This child is learning how to make pattern. Okay. So red, red, yellow, then red and yellow. So child is learning how to make pattern. A lot of concentration is getting developed, pincer grip is getting developed. So this is how you can do with older kids, okay? So in the next activity, I've taken Jenga blocks, okay? In case you have it, it's okay. If you don't have, you can skip it, okay? But if you have, how you can, you know, utilize this to improve pincer grip is and to improve concentration, you can just ask your child, you know, you know to put this like this, okay? So what is happening? To put it properly in line, child's concentration and fine motor both is getting developed over here. Okay. Or for example, uh, you are in the phase of teaching colors to your child and you want your child to, you know, do color sorting. You can just do color sorting with this. You can give them these colors and ask them to, you know, just sort. Okay, just keep on sorting. So this is how you can use Jenga blocks in color sorting, in concentration, pencil graphs, etc. Again, to the to the much too much older kids, what you can do is you can ask them to you know make something out of Jenga blocks. You can you know develop their concentration level in such a way that you know this should not fall. Make sure that it is not falling and make something out of it. You child can make anything. I'm just giving one of the example. Ask your child to you know make something out of it and uh, it can be building tower anything okay that your child loves to do so next is to introduce blocks to your child okay it could be any blocks that are available in market we have these hexa blocks which we got from our nearby local stationery shop uh don't ask link for this particular blog because it's the same size are not available online i won't be able to share with you all but you can find any blog that is available any block is helpful to your child so the purpose of blocks are uh your, your child has to connect the blocks while putting pressure so uh if the child puts pressure that means their strength in their fingers are increasing and this is the reason uh why they are counted in fine motor activity okay so once the child learns like the simple way of putting blocks, what you can do with uh, children who are maybe more than 3.5, ask them to, you know, use blocks in different, you know, make something different, make a rocket out of it, make a gun out of it, make different structures. So you can, you know, uh, tell them to do different, uh, make different alphabet out of it. You can use it to, you know, help them teach much comp complex tasks and hence improve their creativity. Okay. Again, once your child is done using uh, the blocks, ask them to remove it because removing also requires a lot of strength and it helps them a lot. So next, what you can do is use this uh, straw assembly kit. I'll put link of this assembly kit uh, in my description box. So why these are important is because it requires a lot of strength to put these small blocks into these straws. Okay, and this can be done by a child who is three or three plus years okay so before that if you try this particular thing with your child they won't be able to do that much because uh, their strength is not developed at that particular age and it is not even recommended to give them okay so yes they can connect this okay all together and uh, use it to make uh, different things out of it uh, so, for example, if they connect like this, they can make a circle. So, a lot of creativity a child can develop from this particular thing. If they can make square, rectangle, triangle, anything. So, this helps in their developing their strength in the fingers a lot. And that's why they are very much important in fine motor. So, next is you can give, the, uh, give a container like this to your child and ask them to put a cap of that bottle or container. Uh, so, what is happening is it this kind of activity helps them in their day-to-day -day life okay while child goes to school and they have to put cap on the bottle so they know how to do it okay or uh, for that matter using zip of your school bag you know ask them to do that more and more so that you know it helps them in their daily life 
so these are the daily life practical life activities which are very important so next is using tongs okay so this is a steel tong that is available at any pan shop in india at least i don't know about other countries you can give any object to your child it could be pom pom it could be any fishes animals anything any crystal stone beads anything you can give to your child and you can just ask them to you know hold it and put it here so once i started this activity with sarvam at around 2 years age uh, we were practicing again and again so doing again and again all the activities are important it's, it's not like you have only you know done once and you are done with that activity it's never like that you should keep keep on practicing on a not on a daily basis but at least you know two weeks three weeks you can at least try one activity again and again so this is how you know their strength in the fingers increases and hence their grip increases so tongs are really very very important so next is magic pegs okay uh, this you get by ratna's company and i'll drop link over here uh, in the description box uh, you can buy over there so um, so what child has to do is you get pegs with it child has to just put it like this so while doing this a lot of pressure the child is putting board and uh, hence they are uh, fine motor is worked on this is the box that uh, uh, has different patterns on it so you can ask your child to you know copy the pattern in the later part like after 3.5 years you can say like that before that just putting before that 3.5 before that you can just ask your child to put these pegs on the board So next is paper tearing activity. Okay, you can give anything to your child. You can just draw a car on the paper. You can draw a balloon on the paper, kite on the paper, and just give it to your child on the white paper. You can draw and give it to your child, and then you can give any color papers and ask your child to tear it. So now parents usually take this tearing paper activity very, you know, uh, leniently, and they don't follow that much. They don't do that much. But this is a very important activity that help them. the help that helps kids to you know work on the fine motor what kids usually do is they just do like this you know they they just hold like this and you know try to pull it a uh, paper like this and tear it but this is not the right way to do it this is completely incorrect and you need to show the correct way which is hold from the top use your thumb and index finger and middle finger if you're comfortable and now hold it from the top hold it close enough and just twist it or turn it okay the paper could be torn any which ways like this like this like this like crumbling way and all that but that is not correct this is the correct way of turning it properly and doing it so you have to ask your child to do small pieces once you are done with all the small pieces tearing you have to give glue to your child so giving using so using glue is also one of the important thing uh, that you should let your child use the glue okay because when they are holding glue that is like holding a pencil holding a crayon they are you learning to use how to hold things and you know put it and plus sensory development happens over there the stickiness they get used to it and they like it and they find it very fun so this is how you can ask your child to put small small pieces on the thing that you have drawn on white paper so next is this is chocolate this is not chocolate then we use chocolate box to put legos in it okay so next is you have to introduce legos to your child at around 3 3.5 usually 3.5 is the right age to introduce to your child to legos because here these, these are small pieces by the time they are you know uh, strength in the fingers have improved that much that they can use it properly so sit with your child and make different structures show them uh, show them first that you know how these are made how you can make different structures and uh, make them with uh, them together so that they learn how to do it and then they can copy you replicate you or you know practice it later on but initially when you buy it and you expect that you okay do so your child won't be able to do because he has not seen legos in his life ever and he doesn't know the skills that are required to build this and all that so you can you know uh, wait patiently for anything any activity that your child will do it not first time but second third fourth fifth time they will do it but you know you have to keep patience with it what happens is your child will just put like this and then they'll put like this they are not putting pressure so ultimately what will happen the entire thing will get broken down and it will fall apart so you have to tell your child to put extreme pressure how much ever pressure they can put and then you know put it properly so you know 
like this put it properly so that it doesn't fall apart okay so next over here i've taken rice and two bowls and one spoon okay you can ask your child to take it and put it on another so this is called a transfer activity okay so over here uh, over here what is happening your child is learning to use spoon which helps in their day to day activity day to day life skills uh, it is very important so i've seen many kids use spoon like this which is not correct they should you you should you know teach them that you know thumb should come at the top and finger should come at the, the lower part of spoon and then you know put it slowly slowly it should not fall outside so their concentration is also getting developed over here by you know concentrating to put in this particular bowl only not falling outside mm, okay so yes this was one of the thing and doing lot of fine motor activities on a daily basis helps kids for you know writing during the writing phase so do practice them as much as you can with your child um you can check more videos related to fine motor activities on my instagram page i will put a link of my instagram page in the description box so until we meet next time happy parenting guys